In this video, I'm going to share five tips and tricks on how you can tackle and remove pet hair as easy and quickly as possible. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. And if you are new here, I'm Randy with Beyond Limits of Palm Beach Mobile Detailing. When you are detailing a vehicle and you happen to come across pet hair within the interior, it is no secret removing the pet hair alone is quite a hassle and requires a significant amount of effort. As a detailer, we have the expectation to be able to clean it up as best as possible and that means removing most if not all of the pet hair that is in the vehicle's interior. Not only is it crucial to remove as much as possible, but we want to make sure we don't spend all day or a ton of time trying to accomplish this task alone. In my experience dealing with vehicles that contain heavy pet hair, the removal process alone can take up most of the time in comparison to completing everything else that a car detail consists of. That is why it is super important to be able to get it done in a timely manner. When I first began detailing, I struggled a lot when it came to heavy pet hair removal. As time went by, I serviced many vehicles with pet hair and I pretty much got the hang of it, learning some of the best tips and tricks to go about removing them as simple and efficiently as possible. While there may be a ton of possibilities on ways to get rid of pet hair, this is what has worked best for me based on experience as well as other methods many detailers get great results with. So whether you're trying to quickly remove pet hair from your fabric seats, carpet, or floor mats, we all know a simple vacuum alone will not cut it. That's why method number one is using a pet hair removal attachment that connects to your vacuum's hose. A very well known tool for this is Buff Bright's Fur Ill Adapter. It is actually a rubber attachment that has teeth on it and can connect to almost any shop vac out there. The best thing about using a tool like this is that when you are vacuuming as usual, you are also going to be lifting up pet hair from the carpet at the same exact time as well essentially making the vacuuming process as convenient as possible i would definitely recommend this product and would refer everyone to the newest and updated one the fur rail pro 2 which is also known as version 2.0 in contrast to the first version it is supposed to last 10 times longer than the previous model due to its 300 longer teeth and increased side venting so if you guys are interested in this tool i'll make sure to leave a link down in the description method number two is using another tool such as the famous lily brush a lily brush is not an actual brush rather a simple tool that you would use alone by hand you pretty much rub its edges against the fabric or the carpet you're working on and simply gather all of the pet hair to one certain spot where it piles up and you can actually come back later to finally vacuum it with the shop vac. Making the removal of the pet hair so much simple and easier. It is advertised as being able to remove stubborn trapped pet hair from carpets and fabrics with minimum effort and it is a tool almost most detailers have in their arsenal. Method number three is simply using a standard pet hair removal brush. Now this is actually a brush, a rubber brush and honestly you can never go wrong with this one. It is a super quick and convenient tool that is designed with a handle and like the lily brush you're able to accumulate all of your pet hair to one certain area only to later vacuum it up with your shop vac i've actually had mine for about a year now and it is still going strong and does the job although i've also had a lily brush for the same amount of time i've definitely used this pet hair brush a lot more and can attest it serves its purpose not to mention it is super cheap coming in at a price tag of $8.99 so $9 when you order it off amazon just like the rest of the tools mentioned in this video today guys i'll be leaving a direct link down in the description if you're looking to purchase any of them now method number four is the only tool on today's list that i have yet to try but many other professional detailers have recommended to me and actually seems to do a pretty darn good job it would be this carpet lint and pet hair removal rake meant to remove pet hair not only from your vehicle's upholstery but also your clothing bedding and even furniture based on reviews suggestions and overall information online it seems to be a solid tool like the last two methods this is also used by hand and it's something you would pair with the shop vac to suck up all of the piled up hair as the follow-up step method number five of course i couldn't leave out of the list for today's episode having a drill brush attachment if you happen to have a drill these drill brush attachments in general are very versatile however However, one of the amazing uses you can get from these is the ability to remove pet hair much faster compared to the force of your hand. The drill will provide substantial power to the attachment, essentially maximizing your brushing or scrubbing force when tackling carpets with pet hair. I typically use my drill brush attachments on the floor mats. I would remove the mat from the vehicle, lay it on a flat surface and start agitating with the drill brush, usually with this one specific brush out of all of the ones that come in the kit. It honestly works like a charm and is super helpful in terms of saving time and the amount of effort you'd actually put in. Once again, if you're interested, check out the description down below for all of the direct links to these tools. None of these are affiliated links, nor am I getting paid by any of these companies to talk about their product. This is really what I think are some of the best tools out there for detailers in order to address pet hair as efficiently as possible. And that's going to be a wrap for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and press that subscribe button, as well as hit the notification bell button to join my notification squad. Don't forget to watch another video down here. As always, as a girl, see you on the next one.